Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video we are going to solve an example on real numbers. The question is when 2 raised to the power of 256 is divided by 17 the remainder would be. So this is based on remainder theorem which states that if f of x is divided by x plus a then we get a remainder as f of minus a. So this is the rule of the remainder theorem. Now what is f of x, what is x, what is a? We will look into it now. Now f of x is nothing but the given term 2 to the power of 256. Now I can write this as 2 to the power of 4 times 64. That is I have just split this 256 as 4 times 64 using laws of indices. Now x plus a is nothing but the number which is dividing the f of x. Here the number dividing 2 to the power of 256 is 17. So I can write 17 as 16 plus 1. That is I am going to split it up. Now 16 can be written as 2 to the power of 4 and I am going to write 1 as it is. So you can see some kind of pattern over here because I changed 2 to the power of 256 as 2 to the power of 4 times 64 and 17 I split it as 16 plus 1 and 16 is nothing but 2 to the power of 4. So now this can be written as using the given expression. So 2 to the power of 4 raised to 64 divided by x plus a. So this is the divided number 2 to the power of 4 plus 1 should give me a remainder of f of minus a. So here you can see in place of a we have plus 1. So here if it is minus a it changes to minus 1. So this was my f of x the numerator and the denominator was x plus a. This was the denominator. So just by comparison a is equal to 1. So if it is minus a here it turns out to be minus 1. Now since my f of x was 2 to the power of 4 raised to 64. Now in place of x I am going to substitute minus 1. So minus 1 f of minus 1 is equal to minus 1 to the power of 64. And always remember if the power is an even number then if it is a negative base still it changes to a positive number. So we get it as plus 1. So minus 1 to the power of 64 is plus 1. If the power was an odd number then it would have become minus 1. But since 64 is even it turns it into a positive number. So the remainder of the given term is a which is 1. So to solve these examples remember to follow this rule and I hope you have understood the method and like the video and thank you for watching.